everybody and welcome back to the channel my name is Chris Olmy and today we're back playing some franchise hockey manager 2 here with the rumbling rocky save with the Colorado Avalanche now we've had a couple of eventful seasons we've won a president's trophy last year we won one this year we've made the playoffs both in the previous seasons getting knocked out in the first round and in the Western Conference Final. Now, we've made it back to that Conference Final once again. We are up against San Jose once again. And, yeah. This should be an interesting match. I didn't think that we'd lose last year, but we did. Uh, I think we're stronger this year, and I'm hoping that we're better defensively. So, we should be able to really compete with San Jose. They've gone through 4-2 in both of their rounds to date over Edmonton and Arizona. We beat Nashville and Winnipeg by 4-1. So, we're both in good form. That should be a cracking little matchup to see who represents the Western Conference in the Stanley Cup Final. On the other side of the bracket, the Montreal Canadiens have made it to the Eastern Conference Final against the pretty damn special at this point Pittsburgh Penguins now Pittsburgh haven't won enough to be declared a dynasty as such but they're always in this final they're always here or hereabouts they've got a great lineup a good young squad who's starting to produce now there's a couple of star players coming into their prime it's a really good time for Pittsburgh in real life they just won the Stanley Cup you know a little bit ago so all in all that's kind of the best in real life right now versus the historical best team in Montreal. So, interesting matchup there. A rematch from last season for us with San Jose. We're going to go through this round of playoffs and kind of just see what happens because I don't know anymore. I cannot predict this. We have a good squad. Matt Duchesne is back. So, he will be back into the lineup. Girard takes... A little bit of time out, so we've got Desjardins, Girard, and Bigras to back up our front, our first team. So, um, yeah, let's just get things sorted. I'm not sure who needs to come off this shootout, because I know Matt Duchesne should be on my shootout. I think it is Ryan O'Reilly. I think it's O'Reilly. Uh, Deshane goes on first line there. He moves in instead of Rocco. Who goes in instead of Nate. Who goes in instead of... No. Deshane goes second line. Yes. Deshane goes second line. Um, Riley. Let's drop McKinnon out. And get Deshane in there. I think that's about good enough right now. If I need to make changes I will. I know Gergensons is unhappy with ice time. There's not much I can do about that. He's probably going to get as much ice time as as he currently is. That that's about as much as I'm I'm willing to give him. So we'll see how that goes. But it's nice to have him back. Of course, Big Grass not played much this season. Unhappy. We might have to make a change or a trade there. To either open up a spot which would be probably got this beer to leave or big grass himself to leave so that's something to worry about in the off season the rest of the team kind of picks itself and yeah gergensons he might want to leave so that might need to be something that we do i'm not too sure we've got youngsters to come in so i'm not too worried about that uh, let's take a look at san jose as well while we're here so you can see, they're not too bad. Pavelski on the right, Logan Couture is here, leading the front line, and Thomas Hurtle on the left as well. Donskoy, Chartier, and Godolbin, Stahl, Tierney, and Johnson, Smith, Thornton, and Martin. That's not a bad sort of mix of veterans. You've got you know, Joe Pavelski and Joe Thornton. You've got youngsters as well, like Hurtle and Couture, now coming into their primes. You've got Eric Stahl up there, Godolbin as well. That's that's a nice little mix, I've got to admit that. Hutchinson and Jones, I'm not too sort of worried about. Decent goaltending, but nothing really scary. And 
I don't know much about their defense. I know Brett Burns, and that's about it. Now, Brent is a... Uh, you know, he can be a force. We'll say they've got a decent young core there, so... Yeah. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. So... That's what we're going up against. Let's get this underway then. Game one of the Western Conference Finals between the San Jose Sharks and the number one seed President's Trophy winning Colorado Avalanche. Martin Jones versus Corey Schneider in the net. Star players Matt Duchesne goes up against Logan Couture. Can we get it done? I think so. Let's go find out. We're going to sim the first period. Come on, boys. Let's get this going. Oh, there we go. Nate McKinnon stepping up with a goal in the first. Love to see that because we don't see a lot of goals from some of our star players sometimes. We, we tend to have depth goal scoring, which isn't a bad thing to have. It really isn't. But when you've got star players, you really need them to score. Joe Pavelski, get an equaliser. Hag now, that's their depth goal scoring coming in. And we're going to be down, it looks like. No, Brandon Saad, our depth goal scoring coming in. That is two apiece going into the third. And we are going to just play this one out. We're winning face-offs. Giveaways are a bit more for us than them. Oh, Nate McKinnon, two. Yes. Seven in the playoffs, two goals in this game. Absolutely fantastic. We're out hitting, we're giving the puck away, we're winning face-offs, we're having tons more shots. And uh, it looks like power plays are really, really good right now. One from one for them, two from two for us. So that'll tie it up there, Thomas Hurtle with a goal. Not the best defensive performance from us. We've got the production from Nate McKinnon and Brandon Saad. But the defence really needed a step up and they have not yet. Here we go. Gabby has scored. Landis Gog. Get in there. Matt Duche and Nick McGinnon giving the puck over to Landy. And that is a first line forward combination. 4 3 up. The clock is ticking down. We just need to play defense. We need to keep this puck away from our net. And we take the lead. 1 0 in the series. Opening game goes to the Colorado Avalanche. Not an easy game. Not an easy game, but I'm pleased with our goal scorers. Brandon Saad, he's here to score goals. Landeskog getting a, a nice marker there as well. Game-winning goal. Um, I'm, I'm happy with him. Nick McKinnon, two goals, happy with him. Not a lot from Deshane at the moment, I don't think. Um, and I didn't see too much from the defence, so... Let's just go and see how everything worked out, so... Defenseman got Nate his first goal. Then we see Brett Burns there, Eric Stahl, Joe Pavelski. That is a veteran heavy combination. Uh, Chartier, Brett Burns, Robert Haag. Nice bit of depth for them. Landy, Duchesne, McKinnon there. And then uh, Couture combining with Hurtle and Muller to get that goal. And Landy, again from Duchesne and Nate McKinnon. So Duchesne being creative. Nate McKinnon getting an assist and two goals. That's pretty good. Landy getting one of each. Couple of defensemen in the mix as well. You know what? I'm fairly happy with that. I am fairly happy with that. Not great save percentage for Corey Schneider. Not too happy with that. But he's been great this entire time. He, he can have one bad game as long as we win. He can have one bad game. So, yeah, okay, that, that, that was a little closer than I'd like. That was a little closer than i like. I'm really hoping this second game's a bit more definitive. Come on, boys. The time is now. We step up, we step out, and we step all over them. No, we don't. Thomas Hurtle grabbing the early goal for San Jose oh Nate McKinnon back again oh he's heard my criticism he doesn't like it and he's here to prove a point Mikhail Bodka a little bit of depth 
Bergman equalizes. This has been a back and forth series all the way right now. And Thomas Hurtle again. Oh my God, Thomas Hurtle with a quick fire double there, 14 seconds apart. And he's got his hat trick. Thomas Hurtle has got his hat trick. Um, tell the first light to shoot more. I just, oh, I'm I'm not happy with that. Third period coming up. We are out shooting by some distance. We're closing in on two to one in shots. They're blocking a ton of our shots. Um, we're missing some shots. You know. We're just not being decisive enough, and they really are in this game. We've not given away a single penalty. They've given away 10 without hitting. But on five power plays, we've come up empty-handed. We are not doing what we need to do. And that, if anything, is what has lost us this game so far. We need a big third period here. Come on. Let's go, Matt Shane. I'm calling you out. Ryan O'Reilly, step up for the team. Tyson Barry, where are you? Ekblad, where are you? Let's go, boys. Ekman Larson, time to stand up and be counted. Nine minutes left. Can we get something going? We need a goal. Are we going to get that back, or is that... Nope. Joe Pavelski... Well, Thomas Hurtle fed him the puck there, and like Hurtle's having a phenomenal game. We give it up. We give it up on the power play. Oh, we get it back. And Nate McKinnon steps back up. It's a little too late. It's a little too late. 5-3, we're going to lose this game. 50 shots, we just couldn't get it done. <laughs> Oh my God, Thomas Hurtle ripped us to pieces there. He really bloody did. Oh, Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. What are you doing to me? What are you doing? <sighs> yeah. Well, Thomas Hurtle is a fantastic player. We know that. We know what what the Sharks did to us last season we knew how tough this series is going to be it wasn't going to be a shutout they took so many penalties we did not excel on the power play we didn't get anything on the power play nice to see Deshane there getting something for McKinnon um, Bodka there from Ekman Larson and Lowry stepping up McKinnon you know Gottsbeer and Gergensen's feeding him there But yeah, no, not good enough. Not good enough. We tie up the series now one apiece. And San Jose are a team that do seem to know how to play against us. And that is something I am really not happy with. I am really not happy with that. Let's go on to game three. Can we move back ahead? San Jose now at home. Let's see what gets going here early on. Can anybody step up? First period. What are we going to do? It's Brent Burns who opens up the scoring. There's Adam Lowry. Straight back with a, with a quick fire marker there. And Nate McKinnon. He's on fire this series. He is on fire this I've been calling him out. I want to see more from him. He needs to lead this team. Him and Matt Duchesne are the top two players. They need to be leading this team. So far in this series, Nate is doing his job. We need the defense to step up. Corey Schneider, I'm calling you out. You need to be better. We're giving away far too many goals on far too few shots. Schneider, step up or I need to get you out of this club. Defense, it's time to step up and be counted on. You can no longer be a weakness in this team. You've got to be a strength. The attack is getting the job done. 
but you are not getting us where we need to go we're taking far too many penalties six minutes now can we get this job done two minutes and we're going to overtime first overtime in the series game three Nate McKinnon doing what he needed to do unfortunately we're not doing too good the penalty kill is working well we shut down seven of eight uh, without shooting them by almost two to one again the face-offs are on their side this time um, let's just go for it please please depth goal scoring Grimaldi pulls your Javi let's get the youngster in on this let's get uh, oh oh Shane Gonisbeer let's go first in the playoffs first in the playoffs it's a game winner from Shane he doesn't want to leave this club he heard me pre-game talking about how we might need to give up a defenseman to make room for someone and uh he doesn't want them to be him it, he doesn't want to be him oh boys two to one up two to one in this series against the san jose sharks this is going to be a back and four series all the way okay let's go and see what the other sides are doing it is three nil pittsburgh montreal overcome a good defensive team in ottawa they beat the young guns of buffalo but coming up against the all-star pittsburgh penguin side the canadians so far have no answer three nil down we're only two one up so you know pittsburgh might be able to close this out in four and get themselves a little bit of a rest an extra rest on us if we do make it into the playoffs oh not uh not amazing but we're, we're winning we, we're, we're winning let, let let's let's win another one let's win another come on Corey schneider ekblad ekman larson barry goddess be here um truba and uh petrangelo i'm looking at you guys we need the defense to come up big because san jose can score goals we need you to shut them down and give the offense the chance to win the game no yes <laughs> cookster with a goal jesse pulls with the young gun coming out and grabbing one straight back that's what i like to see a quick reply but they're out shooting us and i don't like that i do not like that again defense goalie time to stand in your heads time to be the big brick wall and not let them through we need to get more shots out there as well offense defense is doing their bit right now you need to start stepping up and put this game away we have got 15 minutes left in this game come on Duchesne I'm looking at you Ryan O'Reilly time to get a goal boys oh yes can we get it Lowry Truba oh, Jacob Truba defense coming up big both on offense and defense which is what I love to see thank you very much Jacob oh we turn it again we turn it again Landeskog there with a goal we're three one up and we could be going three one up in the series absolutely fantastic there four minutes three minutes two minutes one and we are done it's three one to the colorado avalanche we go three one up in the series Brandon Saad's been injured. Have you? Day to day with the mumps. Oh, no. Brandon Saad. I don't want to lose you. I don't want to lose you, Brandon. 
no, 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 please. At least he'll be back for the Stanley Cup final, hopefully. Hopefully. So let's get here to game five of the series, which could be the final game for us. We're going to take a look as well at the standings very quickly. Did Pittsburgh do it? They did not. It's 3-1. The fight back is real. Montreal are not going to lie down. They want to go to the Stanley Cup Finals. It's been a while, but they really want to get their hands on the Cup once more. So, we've got a potential series ender on both the East and West sides. I'm really hoping Montreal can get a win because that would give us a bit more time to get Brandon Saad back fit. In the meantime, however, I think I've got to drop him out. I, I can't ask him to play with the mumps. I just can't. That That's not... That's not fair. Let's put... Um, let's see. Let's move Matt Duchesne in on the power play. Let's move Ryan O'Reilly back in on the shootout swap him around there um and yeah the only other thing then is to put a left winger in which is Desjardins he can go there on line four with Grimaldi and Jaskin and let's get it done come on though boys we can do this we can do this we are good enough we are good enough. Desjardins, let's see. Defensive. Good mentals. Um, yeah, he's actually pretty decent. He is actually pretty decent. So that fourth line spot might well suit him. That might well suit him. He's a very defensive player. Hopefully he can shut down Pavelski and Hurtle and Couture. First period, oh, early Gabby Landeskog, 25 seconds into the game. That's what we like to see. Zemgis Gurginson stepping up. Beautiful. Schneider didn't keep that out. Cooks it again with another goal and Tierney equalizes. God damn it, Schneider. Come on, Corey. You're better than this. You're better than this. Oh, like, is this the beginning of the end for Corey Schneider? Is it the beginning of the end? Ryan O'Reilly steps up. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you. We move back into the lead. Can we hold it? Yes, we can. Whew. Goodbye, sea cleaner. So... <laughs> At the start of the third period, we you now we're not killing it on the power play. I need to look at the power play. We're getting chances, we're just not putting them away. The shots are there. We're, we're closing in now. We're past the, the two to one ratio. We're closing in on three to one. Um not winning face-offs, but not giving away penalties. We are out hitting them. It's not a bad sort of set of uh, stats to have. But can we close this out and get into our first Stanley Cup final? Please. Boys, I'm begging you. Schneider, you cannot leave anything in. God damn it. You're killing me. You are killing me. 20 seconds. Or 1 minute 20 seconds. Come on, Schneider. Stop messing about. Defense, step up. Offense, Win me this game. Let's go. No. Oh. Oh, Logan, I hate you. I hate you right now. Yep. 
It's going to be one of those series. It's going to be one of those series. We cannot score enough goals on them and we cannot keep them quiet. I improved this defense, but they scored four goals on 26 shots. That is abysmal. Absolutely abysmal. And it's happened every game this series. Every game. I'm really not happy with that. Look at look at our defense. Ekman Larson. You know, Goddess Beer. Petrangelo. Great defensive core there. Barry Truber Aaron Ekblad. This is a good defense. There's a bit of offense mixed in with a little bit of goal scoring, a little bit of uh, offensive mindedness, but really it's a solid defensive core. Corey Schneider, fantastic goaltender, top five, maybe top three. Last season, the number one goaltender in the entire league. But he's not getting the job done. And sadly, we don't really have anyone else that could because Gustafsson's not good enough. I mean, game by game, let's see, against San Jose, 8.7, 7.73, then a 9.2, a 9.68, and in the last game, an 8.46. So, last three games have been better. Well, the well, last game wasn't too great, below 8.5. Like, we squeaked by the first, the, that's a bad performance. Two good performances before he drops once again. It's just starting to weaken for him. He doesn't have too many bad games, but he's starting to let it creep in now. And that does worry me. It really does worry me. I did not want this video to go this long. I wanted to tie up this series in about five games. And it's not happened. And so we go again. We go to San Jose to try and win and yeah there it is there it is Pittsburgh get their chance to get a rest so we will be fighting up against Pittsburgh if we can overcome San Jose we got two shots but I want it done now I want it in this game it's past time Schneider I want to shut out you owe us that You've not done anything so far. Step up. Um, no. <sighs> Pavelski opens the scoring. Ryan O'Reilly gets one straight back. And then... Who, who was that? Thomas Hurtle. Of course it was Thomas Hurtle. Putting the hurt on us. And this is going to go to a game seven. Unless Corey Schneider steps up and stops conceding every seven or so, so shots. It's exactly seven shots. Exactly. Who was that? Register. You know what? Yeah, let's sim to the end of the game. We win. We're through. I'd had enough of this game. I'd had enough of this one. Because, yeah, Corey Schneider is not my goaltender anymore. He is not my goaltender. He plays in the Stanley Cup final, and then I really need to make some trades. I, I can't trust him. I don't like him. He's not doing his job. So, ah, uh, bit of an annoying finish. Let's see how it actually worked out. Lowry and Petrangelo combining... Both times with Jacob Truba and each other in the third period to pull us back into the game. And then on the power play, in overtime, Shane feeds Matt to Shane. And Ryan O'Reilly comes back big to put us into the Stanley Cup final. And finally, we're there. Finally. 
but that was way too difficult. We made that way too difficult on ourselves. And if San Jose can put us out of the playoffs last year, can come so close to upsetting us again this year, I really do worry about the Pittsburgh offense. Let, let's make no bones about this, guys. Sidney Crosby, 30 years old, having the time of his life. We've got Phil Kessel, 30, absolutely fantastic down that right-hand side. You've got Evgeny Malkin as well, five-star player, absolutely fantastic. They're all in their prime. And then the future is starting to develop as well here. Monihan, great, great player coming into his own now. He could do some real damage against us as well. On defense, Derek Pouliot, Chris Letang. And of course, in goal, Jari has just started stepping ahead of Fleury. So, you know... Marc-Andre is still in the net, but uh, it's becoming the end of the road for him. They're starting to move over to that new generation. You know, Oli Mata, pretty good in this team as well, quite young. Uh, Ellie as well, or Ely. Tiffles and uh, Bluger. So, we're starting to see the next generation of Penguins come forth. We're starting to see the last generation of penguins really step up their game and be counted we should beat them we should beat them but it's gonna be close it's gonna be oh so close i know it is you know it is we all know it is so let's see what the uh, two days okay two days for Brandon Saad so let's see what you think then guys have your say down in the comment section below and on Twitter at Chris Army. link is in the description as always let me know can we overcome Pittsburgh are we actually able to win a Stanley Cup at the third time of asking what's gonna happen do you fancy Pittsburgh who are their danger men beyond the obvious in Crosby Malkin, you know, who else is there that we really should be worrying about? Do you agree with me that Schneider is sort of done for us? Do you not agree? I mean, I I don't know. We've got a seven-year contract, 32. I really want to find someone new, but getting a top-class goaltender is not the easiest thing in the world. So if there's one in the draft, I might go after him. If there's not one in the draft, then it might just be sending two or three picks away, even first-round picks, packaging Schneider up with a pair of firsts and seeing what we can get somewhere else. So I'll have your say on that. I hope you're enjoying the series. I certainly am. A little bit of a nail-biter against the Sharks. And uh, I, I just had to finish out that, that game six because yeah I, I was starting to get really sort of wound up by conceding on so few shots so consistently so let me know what i could do how i could change things have your say as always and until next time thanks very much for watching if you have liked please do click that thumbs up you know if you're new to the channel click subscribe check out the other playlist for the other games that we've got going on here and i'll see you next time guys until then Take care of yourselves.